Hello humans, if you haven't figured it out already, I'm talking about guys, I'm Neil Shesterman. First of all, I'd like to say I've never done a book review this soon after the books come out. I mean, Sky has just come out like this November. November 2016. Which was just like a month and a half ago. And I've already read it and purchased it and read it. And if you're watching this, did a book review on it. This is the first book that I read in 2017. I gave it 4.5 stars. I, I had such a hard time reviewing this on Goodreads because like, I didn't know whether I wanted to be glass half full and give it five stars would be glass half empty and give it four stars. I ended up giving it five stars. And also I was debating whether to put it on my favorite shelf because I really liked it. I didn't know if I liked it that much. I did end up putting it on my favorite shelf, but it's not stuck in there too hard, so it might end up out of there. But it might not. It may, might stay in the favorite shelf forever. So if you don't know what Skype is about, it's a dystopian book. It takes place in a future world where there is no more anything bad, really. There is no more natural death, there is no more disease, there is no more war. And since there is no more natural death, they have to have a way to keep the population within reason. So they have guides, which are people who have to go around and kill a certain amount of people in a year. An awful job. I wouldn't want that job. This book follows two characters named Citra and Rowan who get chosen to be a Skye's apprentice. Let's do my cover review. I think it's a really nice cover. You have this really cool looking Skye. It makes you think of the Grim Reaper, which is relevant. It's shaded really nicely. And the font is really cool. And then you have the back. The jacket list it has these little things engraved into it. The weapons, which is really cool. And the name and gold lettering on the side. So I would say maybe four star cover. But I really liked Sky. I really enjoyed reading it. It was really gripping, the whole thing. You kept wanting to pick it up and keep reading it. I think some people might say that the beginning was kind of slow. But I wouldn't say that. It was really entertaining all the way through. I read it in like a week's time. It didn't take me long to read it. It took like 11 days, which is quick for me. If you're someone who doesn't like violence, you won't like this book. I mean, this book literally is like surrounding the concept of death. So of course it's violent, lots of people die. There are a couple bad words in it, but not like a lot. There's like two pretty bad words and then a few of the lesser words scattered about. I think this book representing current government in a really clever way. So that's everything I have to say without talking about spoilers. So if you haven't read this book yet, you should probably leave now because I'm going to be talking about this book in more depth. Hi, people who haven't read it, you need to leave now. So my first thoughts on the story thing is the things that I wasn't expecting about Skypes. Like what I thought they were going to be like turned out a lot different than what they were. First of all, there's nothing supernatural about Skypes that they are any different than regular people. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting them to be like some sort of supernatural beings. Then you have the way that they clean people. I thought it was very interesting because like I don't know what I was expecting, like I don't know how I was expecting them to do their work ending life, but I didn't expect it to be similar ways that they do it in present day, like with fire and guns and knives, like I thought it was going to be some weird mythical way. Like I like how all the different skites had all different methods for gleaning. Thoughts on Citra? She stayed a fairly reasonable character throughout the whole book. Rowan didn't. The way Citra and Rowan first met was kind of awkward. Like, I think Skites Faraday, if that's how you say it, probably should have came in sooner so that they didn't both think it was meant to be a date. That might have been a mistake because I think that probably caused the whole love interest thing to start, which wasn't supposed to happen. It was kind of funny though. And then there was the training. I really liked Skites Faraday. For someone who has to kill people, he seemed like a really nice person. I think Skype's Faraday training them was kind of like hard people would think would be boring. I was interested by it though. I feel bad for Rowan because everyone thought it was his fault that that popular kid getting gleaned. I found Skype Faraday's way of gleaning to be very clever. He decides to glean the next person he sees in a parking lot because back when people died naturally, 
some people got killed in parking lots, so he did a certain percentage of people in parking lots. So I think the part when the story really shot off was the plot twist with Sky Faraday gleaning himself. I was kind of surprised by that and wondered why he did it. And then it kind of came together. It was kind of sad too because the point of it was undone because Sky Curie and Sky Goddard took them in. I think the way Sky Goddard was introduced was a good way, even though it was like sudden, much violence. You can tell that that mask cleaning was not okay at all. Mask cleaning, even if you like killing people, it seems like it's gonna be a lot of work to track down all their families and give them immunity. In a certain amount of time, you have like two days to give all their families immunity. And then there's like a whole building, a whole airplane filled with people and you gotta track down all their families. Like how would you like what? It just seems like that would be like so much work, even if you enjoyed it. East Me, I knew something was up with East Me. Like, you can obviously tell something's up with that because he took this random girl in for no particular reason, and it's obviously not out of kindness because he's him. My first theory about it was that she was his secret daughter, but I should have known there would probably be a darker twist to that, and there was, which I think just made the book all the more clever. Er? Obviously, I like Sky Marie Curie better than I like Sky Goddard. I mean, who would like Sky Goddard better than Marie Curie? I like that she shared her real name with Citra because I thought that was really nice. I liked Sky Curie's gleaning methods. Like, they were my favorite methods of cleaning. I think that's really good with the whole looking for people who look like they don't really want to be living much longer and then doing it quickly. I'm not sure I like the doing it in public, though. I didn't like, no. But I do like the inviting the families for dinner and offering to let them hurt her without consequences. But, like, that is a really good gesture to do to someone when you just killed off their loved one. I kind of liked the love interest between Sky Faraday and Sky Curie. Like the whole backstory with it. It was kind of funny and cute. The first concave, if that's how you pronounce it, was kind of annoying considering that's the one where they decided that Rowan and Citra had to glean one or the other. So I was really annoyed at Sky Rand for coming up with that. It was Sky Rand, right? What was really misleading was Citra's theory that Sky Faraday had been murdered because he wasn't even killed. He was still alive, and that's not something I expected at all. Like not at all. That was like a big plot twist from a plot twist. And like it was. And she would the awful meal and like The book was making a big deal on her having this theory that someone else had killed him, but apparently he had done it, and it all made sense after that. I like how like immediately after she came up with that idea, she got accused for doing it. And after she jumped off the building, I really liked the way she got out of being around them because since she was deadish she was no longer technically a Skype's apprentice, so she wasn't really under Skype's authority anymore. I think that was really good. And then her being in hiding and training with Skype's Faraday and Skype's Curie. I think those two are probably like the best Skype's to learn from if you're going to be a Skype, which I don't want to. I don't really like the road Rowan started taking. Rowan seems to be like a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. High person. He seems to start being kind of evilly, and then a good, like, I think that might have been, like, even realistic, too, where he wanted to do, like, evil things, but didn't want to do them at the same time. Although I don't really like the fact that this is kind of turning into, like, the common trope of smart girl likes kind of bad guy. I don't like that trope. And that's what this is kind of turning into. I hate that he turned into a kind of mean person, meanish person, not really, kind of. I don't know what he is. But like, he seemed like he was a really good character. He was like a very moral character and then he kind of turned baddish. I don't know, he doesn't seem bad, but at the same time, he obviously is. It's weird. He's weird. I really don't have any thoughts on Rowan that make sense. And then there was that massive gleaning at the Tonist 
place. Like, I think that was wrong for like several reasons. Like, that seemed like a lot worse than all the other cleanings, and I think it was meant to be. First of all, they had already gotten to their quota, and like, they were kind of stretching the rules there by doing more gleanings. And then, it obviously showed bias, even though they were stretching that too. They were stretching so many rules here. I just, it was just weird. Like, it was just weird. That whole scene was just weird. The good part that came out of it is that Sky Goddard died in not redeemable uh, dying, as well as his followers. Including Sky's photo, which is a little sad, but I don't think his character was really going anywhere. Like, I knew he was like a redeemable bad guy person, but I don't think... I didn't feel like there was much he was doing to add to the story. Like, Sky's Rand and Sky Tomsky and Sky Goddard, obviously. Obviously, were like highly annoying. The only thing I don't like is I'm afraid that Rowan's gonna be like the new Sky of Goddard, which that wouldn't be good. That would be bad. And then there was the apprentice test. I think that was just mean. That was, that was mean. That was sad too. Citra having to like lean her little brother, like even though he was gonna get revived. It was still like really sad and really upsetting. That was bad. Like not, like not the story was bad, but like as bad as the people that wanted her to do that. Ugh. Blech. I mean, I kind of get why, but I also kind of don't get why. Earlier in the book, when she said that gleaning Rowan would be the second most painful thing she would do, that made you curious for what the most painful thing she would do was going to be. Also, am I the only one who noticed that everyone except Rowan and Citra were like assuming that one particular of them was going to win? Like, they weren't saying if you win, they were saying when you win. Like, Scythe Goddard and all his followers were telling Rowan when you win, and then Scythe Curie and Scythe Faraday was telling Citra when you win, also. Like, no one was like, there's a possibility the other one will win. Like, they were obviously everyone except the two people who were actually involved. Obviously, those sides and decided that person was going to win. There is no way they weren't going to win. I think that Citra must be some kind of, like, genius for coming up with the plan that she did, not having to glean him. Like, she found a way to accidentally give him immortality without shaking any red flags. She couldn't be punished. That was, like, super clever of her. And I really liked the sky's name she picked, Anastasia. I really liked her defense for picking it. I would've been, like, really super embarrassed at that point where she picked her name, like, and the person was skeptical about the name you pick. It's weird. That would have been like really embarrassing, but then she like made a whole argument for it and a good argument too. Realistic argument too because she was like, that's exactly what was going on. Like, Goddard was Rasputin, Byblade was King Romanoff, and then there's Sky Lucifer, which I think it's cool that he ended up getting a Sky name too, even if it's unofficial. I'm wondering if they're still going to be referred to as their real names or if they're going to be referred to as their Sky names from now on. That's one thing I'm looking forward to seeing in the continuing books. So to wrap it up, I'm really happy that I read this. I've never read a book series as they've come out before. Like I'm gonna hopefully enjoy the next book when it comes out. I'm just praying that they won't change the covers. I don't know why they would because this is an awesome cover. So that's all the thoughts I have on Sky. If you've read Sky, please leave your opinion of it in the below. If you like Sky, you can like this video. If you want to see more book talks, more videos from me, you can subscribe to my channel. So that's all the time we have today. Like, this is the show. That's everything. Bye. Bye.